All right, Lacey, thank you. North Ridgeville mother demanding answers now after her 14-year-old son with autism was taken into police custody on Thanksgiving. This mom is upset because instead of being taken to a mental health facility, he was taken to a juvenile detention center. Cleveland 19's Denise Zarella has the mom's story. The Christmas tree is lit up inside Lisa Burner's home, but it's hard to feel the holiday spirit after what happened here on Thanksgiving Day. Burner's 14-year-old son, who is autistic, was taken into police custody. On Thanksgiving, he woke up and immediately started becoming fixated on, on self-harming, and this went out through the day. Um, was breaking things, very manic. After trying to cut himself with a knife several times, Aaron took off, according to his mom. She says she called North Ridgeville Police, who are familiar with Aaron's violent behaviors. The two officers showed up and said they located him. Another officer did. He willingly got into the back of the cruiser and then just completely flipped out. He was trying to break out the windows. The partition between the officer and the back seat was spitting, cussing. Turns out police say Aaron even kicked a police officer. Now he's at the juvenile detention center. I had to watch an officer walk my 14-year-old son in handcuffs and a jumpsuit like a criminal. He was asked to sign papers acknowledging these charges. And he, he was writing his name and didn't know he had to put his last name. So he got reprimanded for not putting his last name. Burner says that for the past year, she's begged Lorain County Children's Services to put her son in a residential treatment program where he can get the help he needs for his violent behaviors. But so far, she says, her pleas have fallen on deaf ears. The minimal services that these organizations had, have offered us have been inadequate and inappropriate for our situation. Aaron's mom shows us the damage her son has done to his bedroom alone. Torn out drywall, a ripped out ceiling fan, scribbling on the ceiling. So now Aaron goes before a judge tomorrow to face charges that he assaulted a police officer. His mom says she's hoping he might finally get some help. She says it's just a shame that it had to come to this. I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel right now. I do not want to institutionalize my son. I really want him to be with me. Uh, unfortunately, the condition that he's in, it, it makes it impossible. But criminalizing a child with mental health issues, Berner says, is definitely not the answer.